Hello Emmaus children, how are you today? So today we learned about the uh, disciples being called and one of them was sitting under a fig tree. So we are going to make a tree today. So you would have gotten blue or green construction paper in your packet. I had to improvise and color a piece of white paper. You would have gotten brown thin strips and hopefully a thicker one. This is my thicker one and I'll show you what I'm going to do with it in a minute. You would have also gotten red and yellow paint and you will need your glue stick today. So that should be it. So glue stick. Okay. So for mine, my big piece here, I'm going to just rip the edges. So I end up with a nice tree trunks that I like. I'm going to try and make it a little wider here at the bottom. That looks good. I'm also going to kind of chop off the top here. There. So I'm going to quick glue this down first. So there's my glue going on. I'm going to just leave that on capped for now. So I'm going to glue my tree on. I'm going to put it near the bottom because that's what I want to do. So there's my tree trunk, okay? So with our thin strips of brown, we're going to, um, you can glue them on first and then twist them, but I'm going to just twist mine before I glue them down. So I'm going to just Kind of roll them up. Little kids, you might need a little help with this, and that's okay. Just kind of roll it up and give it a little squeeze, and then you can unroll it. You can like twist it a little more if you want. Okay, so see, look at that. Now, I'm going to put a little glue on one end here, and I'm going to glue my tree branch on. So I'm going to just, I've got a few of these twisted, so I am just going to get my tree branches on. Oh, that one fell off. I guess I will remember to press down firmly so that things stay glued. As always, protect the surface you are working at so your parents don't get mad, especially since we're using some paint today. Okay, I'm gonna retwist this guy because he's just kind of, you know, not doing much there. So, here we go. Can I just give it a little stretch? There, I like that. And we're gonna put this on. Now for you older kids, this probably seems really silly and probably something you did in preschool, but you know what? It's always fun to do something again, even if you think you're too old for it. And you guys can make this your tree. If you wanna go hand draw a tree or paint a tree with your own paint, if you've got some, go for it. I would love to see your drawing of a tree. I'll actually try and sketch one here at the very end. So now, I've squirted out my yellow and red like this, and I'm just gonna finger paint. I'm gonna dip one finger in red and one in yellow, and I am just gonna put all kinds of colors on my tree. You can put them on the tree limbs. So there's my tree. Let me get a few more color on here. Don't worry about getting messy because it's fun to get messy sometimes. I'm just gonna add some color out here for, I don't know, something. You older kids might know the term pointillism and that's kind of a little bit what you're doing today. 
using your finger and making a picture and your finger is a point or a dot. So there is our fig tree. What do you think? I like my fig tree. It's very weeping willowish. All right, I am going to quick grab a pencil and I'll show you guys how I draw a tree. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside, grab another piece of paper here. I use my pencil sideways like this, which is not how you're supposed to use it when you're writing. So for you older kids or younger kids, if you want to try this, you certainly can. This is how I draw a tree. I do two arcs that kind of bend together. And then kind of just bring it back. It almost looks like a whale tail when I get going. Then the idea is to just add your branches. And you can just add lots of branches coming off in all areas and places. This is my tree. I'm going to take this branch out just to be on the paper, obviously. I need a branch coming, going up a little bit here. Get some height to my tree. Your branches can collide with each other. You can always add in a hole in your tree if you want. And always make that darker than what your tree is. And then adding grain on your tree. As you push a little harder, you'll get those darker lines. Which you will want for shading. So what do you guys think of my tree? It looks pretty good. I'm going to add just a little like grass area here. And then, you know what, I'm going to put like a kind of mountain peak in the back. All right, what do you think? So remember, it's just starting with two arcs that go opposite each other, and then making those then come back at each other to bring make two big tree branches. And then from there, it's just adding, adding more tree branches till it looks like a tree. So you older kids can try this if you want for making a tree for your project, all right? Have fun.